What disgusting secrets does your employer keep from its customers? I worked for a gelato shop that made us dig through the so-called recycling bins to fish out used plastic cups and spoons to wash and give to new customers. Even if the spoons had bite marks from other customers and were coated in chewing gum, we were told to wash them up and only throw them out if they were really unpresentable, because these things are expensive furthermore. All the other stuff in the recycling bin that people so good-heartedly placed there, yet, all of it got thrown in the dumpster. Customers ate IT up and told us regularly how glad they were that we are a green business who cares about the environment enough to recycle. It didn't take long before I just couldn't keep doing this with a clean conscience, and I turned them into the health inspectors, who were absolutely horrified this was happening. About two months later, I got laid off and the business closed its filthy doors forever. Also, I work in a similar business. I get 1000 spoons for less than $10. They probably paid more in labor for people washing the things than it would cost to buy fresh spoons. The fajitas sizzle because we pour oil and water on a hot plate not because we grilled anything. I once tempied at a customer survey marketing firm when they tested a variety of coffee and lattes from a popular Canadian chain. The studies showed that the customers rated the beverage higher if they heard the milk being steamed. No milk was ever being steamed. The machine just made that noise. Former employer was charging clients for a one backup solution that wasn't even running. I was still actively developing it when I quit. Client called up and asked to see the records of the backup. I said it wasn't running and that we didn't have any to my knowledge. Client flips out. Calls boss. Boss flips out at me for not lying. Frick that crap. And this is why restore tests are so vitally important. Still, selling something that doesn't exist. Ro. I used to work in a major movie theater and we would recycle hot dogs. Basically, if the links were on the spinning rack all day and didn't get purchased, they would be thrown in a bucket and refrozen. We poked a fork hole in one to see how long it would stay in rotation. 7. Fricking. Days. I remember I saw an orange Julius open once. The guy opened up the storefront and walked over to the hot dog roller and switched it on. There were already three dogs in there. Worked for a self storage place in Rockland, CA. They made every customer sign a lease agreement that said that you wouldn't hold them responsible if your unit was broken into and things were stolen. I found out that we had 7 8 burglaries a year. The owners would get sued but they would always get off because they'd produce the lease agreement in court and the judge would dismiss the case. One day I came in from vacation to pick up my paycheck, and I found the owner and the manager loading up a truck with the contents from a unit that wasn't theirs. I went around the corner to an area where the fence allowed me to look in, and saw that they went to another storage space, cut off the lock, and proceeded to load up the truck with a telescope big screen TV and some power tools. I came back the next day and asked one of my co-workers. He told me that the owners of the storage space would sell the stuff they stole from renters, and that the manager and owner did the same thing with another property that they owned in Granite Bay. I quit to go back to Sac State. I called the Rocklin cops to tell them what the owners were doing, and they said that there was nothing they could do unless they were caught in the act. Tim Horton's Smile Cookies Pay an extra dollar for a chocolate chunk cookie with a smile drawn on it all proceeds go to local charity. Unfortunately store owner would just go into the system, void all cookie sales and replace with regular chocolate chunk cookie sales. I want to know where this is. No one fricks with my smile cookies. A small business owner for whom I worked several years ago kept deducting the employee's health insurance premiums but never sent the payments into the carrier. After 2-3 months of this, our insurance was cancelled. Right before one lady's teenage son was in a fairly serious car accident, she finds out at the emergency room, during what is of course an extremely stressful time, that she has no insurance whatsoever when she and her dependents had been fully covered. The next day she went into his office, very upset, to find out what happened. He gave his usual song and dance and made excuses for not having been able to send it in, and this normally mild-mannered lady picked up a stapler and threw it at him, he wasn't even injured. While doing that was of course unacceptable. I totally understood her frustration with this weasel. He spent thousands of dollars a month of company money, coding it to company expenses, at Sam's Club on groceries and big ticket items for his house, on top of his already generous salary. Then to top it all off, 
he actually took her to court for the stapler throwing incident. After hearing the story, the judge dismissed the weasel's case and made a comment to the effect that if he were in the same position as her, he probably would have done the same thing. Used to sell cars at a major dealership. The unofficial sales contest was to see how much over MSRP they could sell the car for by confusing the customer on the price with payments financing, manipulation of trade value and sometimes outright fraud, like promising manufacturer rebates then not applying them. The winner for the two months I was there was over by $10k, selling a car that should have been $20k for over $30k. The sad part is the customer might never even know because they still got the payment they wanted. Please do yourselves a favor and don't shop solely based on payments and if you are financing then make sure you are aware what the final selling price of the car is. There is a major difference between $400 MTH at 60 months at 0% interest and $400 per month at 84 months at 0.9%. I used to work at Frisch's as a hostess bus a drive through attendant. That place was filthy and corrupt as frick. No one in the kitchen wore gloves and the cooks loved making people eat old food food that had been dropped on the disgusting floors. The manager loved to steal the waitresses tips and blame the customers or the sketchy looking buses. The most corrupt thing the awful manager did while I was there was around Christmas time. He would take $100 out of each of the new younger employees cash drawer. Call your parents saying that their kid stole the money and they needed to be brought in to be questioned. When I went to work the next day I found out the same crap happened to a few of the others. We all got pee and snagged the key that locked the box to the camera controls. Ray. Winded to the following day and watched until we saw the sucker start doing his thing. Every single one of us reported his ass. He got insta-fired. It was glorious. I do music for various media around Tokyo. From big corporations to sketchy dirty production basement deals. Sometimes I walk by a shooting or get a glimpse of an active set. I've seen some pee work as well. Not as exciting to experience as some may imagine. Once I witnessed a director, who is notorious for being a poopy butthole, threaten an actress that if she continued with her gloomy face during the shootings he would take her child away as he slapped her on her head. It was all very serious and cold. The look on her face as she quietly agreed with him ate into my very being. Then I thought how in a few weeks hundreds of people will sexually get off to her in that state without actually being aware of the reality of the situation. Seeing P again after that I can't help but look into the eyes of the girls and wonder what's really going on. I sure felt disgusted getting paid by the same company. We charge $150 labor to replace a battery on a laptop. We charge $200 for a service called to determine that the battery is fricked. Then another $200 to come back with the proper batteries. I worked for a vet in Vancouver and I ran a whole month of raffles. Nail cuttings for donations and pet pics with Santa for the SPCA. When we added up the last of the money from the month, I put it in the safe. The practice owner's wife deposited the money and bought herself some new Chanel makeup. WTF. I quit in disgust. I worked at Betford.com. A British gambling company that received two Queen's Award for Enterprise. It operates a world only decent sports betting exchange. We lost all of our customers credit card details and didn't tell them. Our exchange was broken by a rogue programmer who managed to bypass all the account balance checks and bet millions on a horse race a while ago. So, oh sweet Jesus. I think I can hear the Daily Mail's comment section already. I work at a frozen yogurt shop where the raspberries are always moldy and when bugs get caught in the toppings, I have to fish them out and leave the topping there. We have a roach problem, and gnats are everywhere. Customers can see the gnats flying around the salads, fruits, and pies we have out but I guess it doesn't disgust them enough to not come back. More than a few times customers have complained about bugs in their drinks that ended up there after they died in our ice machine. The worst was a live cockroach in someone's salad that was on the fork as they went to take a bite. Whole cooked turkey breasts and roast beefs have been dropped on the floor and served without any of the managers and employees giving two fricks. I've realized most restaurants are so much more dirty than shown, but I've eaten out my whole life. I guess my consolation is that I'm probably building up some immunities to all the Ikeys out there. I used to work for a local children's charity where a good majority of the money was skimmed to pay for the owners for profit business. Sears. 
pushed and encouraged to sign you up for things without the customer's consent. Phone number and email is all we need to sign you up for Shop Your Way Rewards. WI Thor without your consent we will do it. DM tells managers to tell us to do it because it has worked so well in other stores to keep numbers up. Wells Fargo, all around shady, straight up lie to people to get them over to a banker to open up checking accounts by telling them our policies are changing and they have to do this. Making sure they have every single product whether it will actually benefit you or not. We will not give up until you have them all. One time a blind lady came up to my window with three separate checking accounts under her name and she didn't even know why she had them. It turns out a banker had opened them all up for her to meet quota. So once I quit WF, I moved all of my accounts elsewhere. I just want to say that if you have ever worked at a water park, it will turn you off of visiting any kind of public pool or park for the rest of your life. The crap we pulled out of those filters, man. No. Just pour so many chemicals into the water that literally nothing can live in it and call it a day. Macy's doesn't donate crap to charities. They practically force their employees to and claim it as company donation. I worked at Dairy Queen. The collection box supporting children with cancer hanging out the drive through window was a discontinued charity. My manager pocketed all the donations. Disgusting in a different sense. A nice story to balance it. The McDonald's I worked at didn't even have the key to open the charity boxes. The only person who did is a man from the charity, who takes every last penny for its intended cause once a month or so. My last job we held events and refilled premium liquor with house crap, and during events charged consumption tabs with 100 plus people, extra shots and bottles that were never ordered so the event holder can pay for something never even used at the end of the night, and that's just scratching the surface. My bot refuses to hire anybody but white women, and he uses rubbing alcohol to wipe the expiration date off of product if it expires. He just puts it back on the shelf, including dairy product. I hate him. I won't purchase anything that doesn't have an expiration date, especially things that normally have them. This happened years ago but I was a receptionist for a chiropractor for about 6 months. One day our first appointment came in, I went in the back to look for him. I walked in on him having sex with a co-worker on the table. The same table the patient sometimes would lay face down on. I went back to the front and said, he'll be with you in a couple minutes. God I was disgusted. He was married with two young kids. I didn't work there long after that. Worked store security. There are peepholes above the ladies changing rooms at several major retailers. Supposed to be for female security agents to monitor the dressing rooms, but we had no female security agents. Lots of creepy verism fapping going on. That's definitely illegal. Private company I no longer work for. The company list of vehicles included two four-wheelers, a Corvette, a Hummer 2, a brand new Jeep, and oh right, a 20-feet fishing boat. Also frequently bought company furniture which he would then sell to himself government contractor and a weasel to a certain extent i feel like this should be reported i mean you're dealing with people's tax dollars and waste in government needs to be controlled i work for the state so i see it every day and do what i can to prevent it i worked as a supervisor at a water park and just before inspection by the owner the director had me go around the park and paint all the rusted metal silver to look like new some of those bolts were nearly rusted through and were crucial to the ride's construction. That's not even remotely fun. Seriously report the director. Valley here. I've seen a number of occasions in which rubbing compound was used to cover up mild to moderate scratches. Co-workers have stolen things out of cars. From spare change to a handgun on one occasion. If valet is an option, don't do it. Just want to add, I've never stolen anything out of someone's car. Also, yes, all valet companies are different just like not all restaurants spit in your food. I valeted my car one time. I thought now they won't steal my crap. Wrong they stole lots of crap. Oh, hey, don't mind me. I'm just uh, working hard on the next Dude Man video. Hey, by the way, if you want more awesome content like this, you should check that channel out. What you should. You should want to watch more awesome content. Then head on over to Dude Man. I'm Lunar Steve and I'm the host over there. 
go give it a look. I hope you like what you see.